What's up gamers? We're back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Now, there's a lot of interesting things going on that we're trying to figure out about the guilds. And I've seen a lot of posts complaining about the rare parts that allow you to go to level 9 on gear, level 10 on gear, being very hard to get. And I can understand that's upsetting, but at the same time, this is allowing all of us to catch up to the whales. And maybe a couple people will get those parts early, but it's not really going to happen. I'm sure they're going to make them more available as the game goes on. I've seen this happen in other games where they make a couple parts really, really hard to get. And then a couple months later, they make it so everybody gets it. But the people that spend all the time and energy first or have an advantage for a temporary period of time. But in the meantime, we're all catching up to them. So I think it's okay. But in the guild raids, level 5 six and seven are the place to be where to get the special parts now the question has been coming up is like today is uh, complete the daily challenges and today there was a total of eight challenges available three from the bounty hunter and five from the gear challenge and the question came up on how did i manage to get more than eight and the reason for that is that there is a different timer for the guild activities than the server reset. So it looks like the guild activities here are going to reset in eight hours where the daily ranking, the daily activity resets in 13 hours. So there's a five hour difference or something like that. And take a look at this. And everybody is welcome to join and come hang out with us and to join the guild. OMG HQ and I post a ton of stuff in here that I find useful we have a very organized guild and you're welcome to join we are not full yet we've got 27 members and we will probably be full here shortly but here is a link right here and the link is inside of this uh, Facebook group to math Vader there are different timelines for different things so like right now it is challenges and then at the end of the day the dark side battles kick in on Friday. So, like when I, my server resets today for the guild activities, I can start doing dark side battles. And so I should have saved my energy to do that, but I did not do that. And then that would have accounted towards tomorrow. And then you can see tomorrow squad arena battles. I want to save those. So this is a very easy way of taking a look at this and understanding when to do what to get the most amount of points because we have to save up like 46,000 points to get to the tier 5 Rancor battle because it doesn't look like doing the ones below that have much beneficial effects because they don't have really good rewards. I mean, they're fun to do. I've done a tier 1 battle and I thought that was a lot of fun. So this is very interesting. And like I said, there is a link in the description to the Facebook group so that you can take a look at this post. And you can also join our guild if you'd like to. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.